welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you a really easy, simple technique for painting trees using water-soluble pencils. These trees look like aspen or birch trees. This is only possible if you are using a water-soluble pencil. This one is made by Generals, and this is a sketch and wash pencil. I've had these before and I did not really know what they were for. I thought maybe I was supposed to paint over them, but actually the lead is water-soluble. So you can use this pencil to sketch with like you would a normal pencil and you can also use it like a watercolor pencil. Once it's dry, it is permanent. You can layer on top of it as long as it's dry. Also, this technique answers a question that I've had for a very long time <laughs> and it is about this sandpaper. You may have bought a pencil set and it came with some sandpaper and if you're like me, I was trying to figure out for the longest time what I was supposed to do with it. And you can use this in different ways. One of the ways is to change the tip of your pencil if you want a blunter edge or a rounder edge, but you can also use the sandpaper to sand the pencil onto your paper. And when we're drawing these birch trees, we'll use this technique to create the effect of all of those different knots and to create the texture of those trees. These are the supplies that you need. Since we are using water for this tutorial, I would recommend using watercolor paper. Make sure you have a water soluble pencil and this is the general sketch and wash pencil. Some sandpaper or a nail file would work for this as well. A paintbrush. I'm just using a round number 10 paintbrush for this tutorial. Make sure you have something that comes to a point so that you can make these branches and paint this tree in. Paper towel and water. Okay, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a water soluble pencil to paint a tree trunk. So this is more of a skill and you can take this and you can paint your own painting with it, but I wanna show you this technique. All right, so I'm just going to get my water, my sandpaper and my paper towel. All right, the first thing you wanna do is paint in your tree trunk. Dip your paintbrush in your water and go ahead and paint the tree trunk. Then you wanna take your water soluble pencil and you're going to sand it into that wash. You can add as much or as little as you want. Dry your brush off, fan it out, and then paint across the tree, and I like to kind of curve it. And keep drying, if it's really wet, you're gonna to wanna to keep drying it off, just so you don't have a wet brush that you're dragging across it. And this really gives it some form, but it also adds that texture that aspen trees have. And remember, after this is dry, this will be permanent. So you can see me, I just kind of keep drying my brush off, coming back into the tree trunk, and just painting right across it. This is a quick tip that they gave us at the workshop. If you have two pencils, mark one of them with tape or with something else so that you can use one of them with water and one of them without water because the one with water is gonna be really dark. So this is the one that I use with water. I'm dipping it, I'm dipping it straight into my water and then I'm just touching it to parts of my tree that maybe I want like a, a knot or a darker area. To add a branch, we're just going to shade in a part. So I'm just gonna add a little shadow here. There's a few ways to do this. Dip your paintbrush in your water, dry it off, and go ahead and just paint that tree branch out. So this side is kind of disappearing into my paper. So what I'm going to do is very lightly with my water soluble pencil, or I'll just call it my sketch and wash. I'm just going along that edge. And I could keep it like that or I can dip my paintbrush in my water, dry it off a little bit, and then I'm just going to lightly paint along that edge. And then I also want to add another branch on this side. So I'm just going to add just a little, I've just lightly sketched in a little bump on the left side of the tree. I'm going to get my paintbrush wet, dry it off a little bit, and then paint in another branch on this side. Also, another trick if you wanna paint branches and you want it to be dark, take a piece of paper, draw some of your sketch and wash pencil onto it, get your paintbrush wet, and then I can use this to paint from. I can get some pretty dark lines just dipping into this puddle. So if I want some of my branches to be darker, I can do that technique as well. So I'm just dipping into this, and then I'm gonna come back into this area since it just wasn't dark enough. But this technique is awesome, and it's so simple. It's amazing how simple it is. And on this side, I can do the same thing. I can either dip into my paint right here, make my paintbrush a little bit darker to add just a tiny bit of a shadow to this side of my tree, or I can lightly sketch it. And now what I'm going to do is come next to that line with my brush kind of dry. And I'm going to do the same thing that I do in my watercolor tutorials where I just slowly, just slowly come next to it. And if these areas are dark, are wet, they'll still bleed. So be careful with that. But I'm going to come next to that line very lightly, just brushing into it to smooth it out so it's not so abrupt. 
and you can come back in with your pencils and add more details. This technique is so cool because you can do a lot of things with it. Here is a close up of the tree we just painted. Now again, you can add more shadows, you can add more knots, you can add more details, but the texture that you get using this sketch and wash pencil is amazing. It really looks like birch trees. So now that you know what to do, what you need to do is paint in a group of trees using this technique some taller ones, maybe some twisted ones, ones that aren't going straight up and down. See if you can recreate that texture using this technique. Also think of different things you could use this technique for. Maybe it's not trees, maybe it's rock or stucco on a building that you're painting. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. Also, I can take color and paint over the top of this. Since this is permanent once it's dry, I could come back in and add color over the top. So this, is, this can enhance your watercolor drawings, also just your normal pencil drawings. You can buy these. I just got this at my local craft store is where I bought this pencil. So I don't know, hopefully they have one where you live. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I, ho I hope it showed you how to paint trees a little bit more easy and I hope this is helpful for your landscape drawings and your landscape paintings. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.